Hey brothers and sisters, today is May 15th, 2024, and I wanted to share this dream that I had early this morning. So in the dream, my Jewish friend, who always represents Israel when I have dreams, she had taken her car into a shop to have it tuned up. While this group of people were working on her car, a part started sparking. And the people working on her car called someone and asked them what they should do. They were told that sparks can happen when they are trying to fix that certain part. Also, fires. I saw my friend's face and she looked very upset. Like, like she wasn't expecting that to happen. And then I saw the group of people that were working on her car all pushing her car very quickly somewhere. So I believe what the Lord is saying with this dream is that Israel is going to the world, other nations, for their peace and security. They're trying to find peace, but are instead going to bring trouble to themselves. Jacob's trouble. I'm just going to replay part of this video here from about nine days ago. Hey, brothers and sisters, today is May 6th, 2024. I want to share something pretty incredible with you guys. <clears throat> so I was on a group text with two really good friends and sisters, um, Sister Carrie and Sister Stephanie. And... Sister Carrie said, upon waking today, I heard a pound of strawberries. And then she sent this picture here. Conclusion on the significance of strawberries as a symbol in the Bible. Strawberries represent the fruit of the spirit. And then she put Song of Solomon. And then I put these shocked emojis because... I guess she didn't know that I'd gotten all this stuff about strawberries from the Lord. And she put thoughts. She said, I heard something after it too, but now I can't remember something like they are ready or they are here. And then I sent her this, which I've shared the stuff I had about strawberries in the past. But this is one of the dreams that I had about strawberries on January 16th of 2023. And I put, I was another person, and Chris was telling me that a mother and daughter, when they go off to war together, that they would both get a tattoo of two strawberries together. Then I saw two strawberries up close. <clears throat> Which I think in the dream, I was somebody else because I think it represents seeing through somebody else's eyes. And then the other one I had, um, this was on April 13th of 2024. I worked in a strawberry place, like a strawberry factory, and I was slicing them up and preparing them to serve to people. <laughs> and then I put... Um, I said to both of them, I said, Brother Paul and I have been talking about the strawberries. And I was looking at the moon one night. And I also heard strawberry while I was looking at the moon. And then also the two dreams of strawberries. And she said, what? You're kidding me. I was pricing out getting a tattoo for Mother's Day of the birth flowers of my two boys. And then I sent this picture the June strawberry moon. And as I just mentioned, I was looking at the moon. This is a while ago. It was at night. I couldn't sleep. And I just looked up at the moon. It was a full moon. And I heard the Lord say in my spirit, strawberry. And it's on June 21st of 2024 this year. And 
and then I said, I wonder if that is pointing to when war starts. And then um, Sister Carrie said, Holy Spirit just brought back to memory what I heard after the pound of strawberries is full. That's what it was. Like the full strawberry moon. Oh my gosh. And then I said, um, remember when the Lord told me about first fruits? I've shared this several times how one night I was on the back porch and I was just weeping to the Lord because my Scott, my son was really having a hard time with the leukodystrophy affecting him. And I was really, really sad and broken. And I was just crying out to God. Like, and I said, is the rapture ever going to happen, Lord? Which I know it will. I was just frustrated and voicing it to the Lord. <clears throat> And then I just said, please, Lord, come heal my son. Well, that night I had a dream and in the dream, the Lord was talking to me and he, he was telling me first fruits. And then he said to me, Omer count, Omer count, Omer count three times. And then brother Paul texted me this today. He said, looking at the Omer count from what I see, Omer count starts today. That would put the 50th day count at June 24th. So I'm not saying that's the day of the rapture. I just, I had to share all this. There's no way that all this is a coincidence. No way. So I just want to put all this out there. Believe on Jesus today for your salvation. Jesus is coming to rescue his people and his judgment is about to fall on this earth. Jesus died in your place for the remission of all of your sins. He was buried and rose again on the third day for your justification before God. Understand the exchange that was made for you on the cross. As the king <clears throat> so then I, I shared this on my community post, uh, I think it was yesterday. This is a dream that I had on May 14th of 2024. And in the dream, I saw a golden colored liquid being poured from above into a gold chalice. And, the, and I knew in the dream that it was mead which mead is like an alcoholic beverage that is made with honey. And I found out mead is the world's oldest alcoholic drink and it is known as the honey moon drink. Fermented from honey, it was traditionally shared at weddings to toast the happy couple. The wild strawberries that start to ripen during early summer gave name to June's full moon. Other names for this full moon are rose moon, hot moon, and mead moon. And I, I know people that have been on my channel for a while know about all the things the Lord has given me about bees and honey for years and um, one of the things was he, he said to me Deborah 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 and Deborah means bee she was a, a female judge in Israel and a prophetess but her name means bee and a dream that I had one time I was it's like I was in the store and there was this display stand with this sign that said, free to, like the number two, free to be watching kits. And they were like these bug out bags that were on this stand. 
and each kit contained a heart-shaped pillow and a blanket, which I believe the heart-shaped pillow is resting in the love of God, and the blanket is the Holy Spirit, our comforter. Two free bee watching kits, but it was like B, B E E. Another time he I had a vision and heard at the same time in my spirit honeybees. I mean, there's just been so many things with bees, I, I can't even remember them all at this point. So I wanted to uh, mention that as well. And I believe what the Lord is saying with these. All these B things is those that are in Christ, that have put their full trust in Christ alone for their salvation, we're like his honeybees. We drink from him, and he works through us and produces much fruit and beauty. And then I just wanted to... This is from a close friend and brother in Christ, Paul, is very prophetic. He did not know any of this stuff. But last night, he texted me, Do you have a picture of Skylar when he was a toddler? I think I had a vision of him the other night. Blonde hair. So I sent him this picture. And he said, Did he like to Toy Story? And I said, That was his favorite. That's still his favorite movie ever. Mr. Potato Head, and I said, all of it. He said, I definitely saw him on the beach. He was so happy, smiling and laughing. Which he didn't know, that's Skylar's favorite place on earth is the beach. He said, I was awake, eyes were closed. Was, and I said, I was just thinking today of him on the beach. He said it was funny because I saw him, but his hair was so blonde that I didn't know it was him until just now. It was more blonde than I remembered, but that picture definitely him. And then I sent him this picture of Skylar on the beach. He said I was trying to figure out why I was seeing Toy Story with him. Love you guys. It's a picture of me and Skylar on the beach. Like, we were always on the beach. It's like his favorite place ever. And mine. There's a picture of him looking up. And he said, can't wait so soon, Kim. And then I sent him a picture of Skylar with Woody from Toy Story. And then I said to him, only God knows that one of the things I imagine is running with him on the beach in heaven. And he said, remember the other day I was talking to him on the phone and after we got off the phone, I was, I was praying to the Lord something. And he said, remember when you prayed for the Lord to show us something that would link up? And I said, yes. He said, I haven't had an awake vision in a very long time. So I think the Lord was showing him that to comfort me, to let, to let me know it's very close to actually happening. The things that we imagine doing in heaven with our loved ones and all of that. He's letting us know that that's all about to take place. I hath not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the thoughts of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. And there's no way Paul knew any of that about my son Skylar. It's the Holy Spirit, our comforter. He loves us. And he wants us to know how much he loves us and he comforts us and he teaches us all things. He wants us to know we're almost home. So I just wanted to share that also with you guys. I hope it encourages you also like it did me. Jesus is coming really soon, you guys. Just in time. Don't ever forget that.
And his timing is going to be perfect because he is perfect. Love you guys. Hold fast.